All right. So what if I told you guys that there is a decent ET game out there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you start unsubscribing, disliking the video, sending you hate mail, hear me out. I've always had this one game in my collection that I've wanted to review for you guys, but I've never had the opportunity to do it. It's not that bad. I mean, sure, it has its problems, like every game. There's no perfect game. But... Compared to all the other games out there, this one ain't that bad. So today, we're going to look at an E.T. game that really isn't all that bad. E.T. Interplanetary Mission was released in 2002 for the PlayStation 1 to celebrate E.T.'s 20th anniversary. This game is very obscure because after the disaster which was E.T. on the Atari 2600, gamers wanted absolutely nothing to do with the little alien from the green planet. You play as E.T. and your objective is to explore different planets and collect rare and exotic plant specimens to save the universe. Now I don't know about you, but I don't know how finding rare plants is supposed to save the universe. Anyways, there's five planets, E.T.'s Green Planet, an Ice Planet, a Desert Planet, Planet Metropolis, and Earth. Aside from traveling to these planets and collecting plants, you must complete different tasks, such as help build this throne and build a communicator to phone home. Although I don't see the need for a communicator because you're traveling different planets in a freaking spaceship. One major downside about this game is that there's no music. You'd think with E.T. having such an iconic soundtrack they'd use some of the music from the movie, but nope, all you get are the game's sound effects. E.T. also has several powers, such as telekinesis, heart stun, healing powers, and telepathy. There are a total of 15 levels to explore, and each time you complete a level, E.T. does this really cringy dance. Oh, brother. Man, exploring all of these planets sure is making me hungry. That's weird, didn't I have some Reese's Pieces on here? Oh well. But these two levels I'm about to mention are the absolute worst. In the ice planet, I slide around so much I could barely control ET. And not to mention these stupid trampoline things that bounce you all over the level. But this level is probably the worst one of them all. In this conveyor belt stage, you're moving around so fast, half the time I can't go where I want to go or do what I want to do. And don't even get me started with the enemies in this game. These guys come from out of nowhere and are out for your head. And what sucks, most of the time you're not even expecting them. SHIT! And don't even try to outrun them. These guys are just as fast as you. The graphics are pretty average for 2002, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Now, I know I've been ripping this game apart. But in reality, compared to the other games of the E.T. franchise, this one is actually fun to play. For one, it's actually playable, and it expands on the E.T. storyline by introducing never-before-seen characters and settings. And it has you doing many different missions, aka not just running around looking in holes for phone parts. So I guess compared to all the other E.T. games out there, this one's aight. Hey! Where the fuck's my box of Reese's Pieces? What?
wake up the neighbors. Get over here. Come on. Get, get your ass over here. All right, look. First of all, I don't know what you are and what you... First of all, give me my goddamn Reese's Pieces back. Oh, God damn it, you ate the whole thing. Anyways, I don't know what you are and what you're doing sneaking in my house, so you better have a damn good explanation for yourself. E.T. Phone home. Phone home? Phone home? More like you better go home. You know people got guns around here? You could have gotten shot. You're lucky I'm a nice guy and I didn't clock you with this Harley Quinn baseball bat. So what is this phone home business about? What the hell is this? First of all, you stole my laptop too, you sneaky bastard. See, you got my Reese's Pieces. <clears throat> Tastes like shit. How long have you been out here? Anyways, forget about that. What the hell is all this? Phone. No, no, no. Clearly you're confused. This is a phone. We gonna hook you up. We gonna show you. This is a phone. iPhone. This? Well, quite frankly, I don't know what the fuck is this. Alright, so I think I'm understanding a little bit better now. You're not from here, and this pile of shit is what you use to call the mothership, and you need parts to build it. Eaty, eaty, eaty. Alright, fine. If me helping you find parts for this piece of shit will help you go home and leave me the hell alone, I'm in. Come on, let's go. Alright, so how many of these parts do you need to find exactly? Right there. That? It's an old bike room. What the hell do you want this for? I'm not gonna ask any questions. Alright, need to find more parts? Yeah. Alright, let's keep looking. Alright, E.T. Just keep looking around and tell me what you need to find. Yeah. That? That's an old barbecue grill. The hell do you need that for? You know what? I'm not gonna ask any questions. You want it? I'll take it. Have you found the last part? Right here. That? Looks like a regular old hanger. Is this the last part you need? Oh, no. Alright, I guess that means home, let's go back home, home, phone 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 home. What the hell? Hey, stop right there. You're under arrest. Oh, Drop shit. the alien and we'll leave FBI. you alone. Don't move a muscle. Hey!
lost them. Now take me back home. Home, home.